Good day children. Welcome back to part 2 video on lesson 11 Force, Work and Energy. In our first video we learnt about what is a force, what are the effects of force and the types of forces. In this session let's move on to our next topic. What is work? In our daily language the word work is used for various activities like doing exercise, reading book, writing, eating, cooking, etc. But in science, the word work has a specific meaning than you may be familiar with. According to science, work is said to be done only when the force applied on an object causes it to move through a distance in the direction of the force. That is, both the force and the motion of the object must be in the same direction. When you kick a football, you are applying force that causes it to move. So, this is considered as work because force is being applied to the football to make it move. Whereas activities such as reading, sleeping, thinking are not considered as work in science. This is because no force is being applied in these cases nor no object is being moved. Consider this example, a teacher lecturing to a class. This is not considered as work because no force is applied to move any object. Whereas in another example, a mouse is pushing a piece of cheese with its nose across the floor. This is considered as work according to science because the mouse applies a force on the cheese to make it move through a distance. Consider another example of a man trying to push the ball. This is also not considered as work as no object is being moved by him. So, Work is done when a force moves an object over a distance. I hope now you will be clear with what is work and what is not a work according to science. So, how would you define work? Work is equal to force into distance. Thus, work depends on force applied and the distance moved by the object. Moving on to simple machines. When a task is difficult to do with our hands, we use tools called machines. A simple machine is a tool that makes our task easier and faster with the use of less force. We all use simple machines at home. We use scissors for cutting the paper. We use spoon to lift the lid of a can. We use a knife to cut fruits. The scissors, spoons and knives are all simple machines. Kinds of simple machines. A lever is called a simple machine that is made up of a rod resting at a point called fulcrum around which it turns. It is used to lift or move heavy weights cut things or open the lid of a tin. When we use a spoon to open the lid of a tin, the spoon acts as a lever. So, in this example of lever, you can see a rod resting on the pivot. The point of contact between the rod and the pivot is called the fulcrum. The force which is called as effort is applied on one end of the lever which is used to lift the load which is on the other side of the lever. A seesaw, a wheelbarrow and a pair of scissors are all examples of levers used in our everyday life. A wedge has at least one inclined plane ending in a sharp edge. This sharp edge helps to cut things. It increases the force that we apply and also changes the direction of force. 
an axe, shovel, a knife or examples of wedges in our everyday life. The next simple machine is the inclined plane. The inclined plane is a sloping surface that is used to push or pull heavy objects to a certain height. A simple smooth board placed at an angle can be used as an inclined plane. You must have seen heavy cartons being loaded onto a truck by pushing them up an inclined bow. Examples of inclined planes in our everyday life are ladder, slide, a ramp and the stairs. Screws. A screw is actually an inclined plane wrapped around a cylinder that has a sharp pointed edge. Screws are turned with the help of a screwdriver. As they rotate, they also move forward. So, they help to attach things to each other. Light bulb, water tap, bottle cap, safety valves are all examples of screws. The next simple machine is the wheel and the axle. Can you think of things that are wheels? Almost all vehicles are wheels. These wheels have a rod connected to them. The rod is called as the axle. The axle moves the wheel. Moving heavy objects becomes easier with the help of a wheel and axle. Door knobs, wagon, toys with wheels, a sewing machine, a clock are all examples of wheels and axles. The last simple machine is a pulley. It is a simple machine that has a grooved wheel and a rope running between the grooves of the wheel. It is used to lift heavy objects attached to one end of the rope. Drawing water from a well with the help of a pulley is an example. Flag poles, cranes, blinds, sky lifts and cable cars are also examples of pulleys. Children, that's it with the types of simple machines. Let's continue with energy and the sources of energy in our next video. Thank you children.